a prison worker charged with having sex with an inmate and driving the getaway car during his escape. There's hardly ever an escape. New at 6, neighbors say it took hours to learn the convicted murderer was on the loose. At least I think they should make us aware of it. We investigate the alleged relationship that led to a manhunt. Investigators say that Christopher McNeil had a sexual relationship with corrections worker Kendra Miller and that they then worked together to get him out of the Brown Creek Correctional Institution. I'm Erica Bryant. And I'm Blair Miller. Eyewitness News reporter Blake Hansen is live near that facility in Hansen County tonight. And Blake, neighbors told you they weren't really alerted about all this? Yeah, and to give you an idea of the lay of the land here, there's some very open spaces outside the prisons, but there are a handful of homes just across the street here. One person told me they hadn't heard anything about the escape when I knocked on their door. Another man told me that he didn't find about, out about that escape until he saw a Channel 9 story on Facebook. Next time, I wish they would run out here in the field and say there's a prisoner loose. Ted Little told me he had no clue Christopher McNeil had escaped Brown Creek Correctional Institute early Saturday. He found out online, even though the prison is steps away from his home. Not a single vehicle, not a single bloodhound, uh, not, not, a, not a blaring megaphone or a the town crier or anything. <laughs> Today, Pokedon police told me that's because they knew McNeil was already headed out of the area. Investigators say he scaled the fence and got into a car with corrections worker Kendra Miller. It's not known where they went next, but McNeil was captured just before 11 last night near the Davidson County line. Neighbors told us they saw U.S. Marshals at Miller's Hamlet home Saturday. That's just like a spring up, and you got New York, now you have Anson County. Public safety officials say in the last year, no Brown Creek employees have faced charges. But in 2013, in a less than a month span, one guard was arrested for selling marijuana, and another for trying to give an inmate a cell phone. In 2013, the director of the North Carolina prison system said the biggest threat behind bars is cell phones. Statewide smuggled phones jumped from 33 in 2005 to 747 in 2013. Miller is facing charges for giving McNeil a cell phone. Put that many people in, in very close quarters and things are going to happen. I'm told Miller made a brief appearance in court this morning. She'll have another court appearance a week from tomorrow. Meanwhile, local and state officials tell me that this investigation is not over. Reporting live from Pope's at Blake Hanson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. An Anson County inmate is on the run and a corrections officer facing numerous charges tonight accused of having a relationship with him and helping him escape. Good evening. I'm Eric Phillips. Search crews are out tonight looking for Christopher McNeil. The accused, convicted killer broke out of an Anson County prison yesterday morning. Investigators charged corrections officer Kendra Miller with helping him escape. And tonight, they say she even had a relationship with him. Just hours ago, we learned McNeil has family living in Forsyth County, and his scent was picked up by dogs there. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Johnson is live in Winston-Salem tonight, and Brittany just got in the last hour new information about the search that is underway there. Eric, authorities confirm there have been two confirmed sightings of Christopher McNeil here in Winston-Salem today, and they are focusing much of their search efforts here in Forsyth County because this is where he is from. Now, they're keeping the media out here, but they tell us there is a staging area for officials who are planning how to track him down right there behind us. If we can, let's put up his photo as much as we can because people here, the authorities want people to be on the lookout for Christopher McNeil. They say the 29-year-old scaled the fence to escape the correctional center in Popeton on Saturday morning. Now, he was there serving a 14-year sentence for second-degree murder. And as you mentioned, Eric, they also today arrested a female corrections officer. She is charged with having sex with an inmate, aiding and abetting and harboring a fugitive. They, they tell us that her role may have been helping him either get a ride. She somehow arranged for him to get a ride. They tell us they believe that's how he got here to the Winston-Salem area. Now, again, two confirmed sightings. They do tell us that a canine picked up his scent somewhere here in an urban area. Now, we also asked authorities today how much concern the general public should have about him. We don't have any reason to believe that he may be armed, um, but again, we don't know what other resources that he may have been able to come in contact with since he's been out. And, and so we just urge everyone to be extremely careful and cautious. 
Now, right now, they tell us that search teams are throughout the area. They will not be very specific as to where they're searching for him. But again, they believe he has lots of family and connections in this area. So they're reaching out to those people. They say that while they do believe multiple people have helped him, right now they're not seeking or announcing any additional charges against those people. But they are telling people if anyone has contact with Christopher McNeil to contact authorities. They have search teams on the ground. They have canines on the ground. And they are hoping to get him back into custody as soon as possible. Possible. Live in Forsyth County, Brittany Johnson, Channel 9. Also developing tonight, an Anson County correctional worker is in jail of under a half million dollars bond after, after being accused of helping an inmate escape and having a relationship with him. Arrest records show Kendra Miller is charged with four felonies, including aiding and abetting and providing a phone to an inmate. Investigators say Miller is a food service worker at the prison where Christopher McNeil escaped. The convicted murderer is still on the loose tonight and Polkton police. His chief says the canines just pick up his scent in Forsyth County. He says McNeil has family in Winston-Salem. They say he scaled the fence at Brown Creek Correctional Institution early yesterday morning. He was scheduled for police, for release rather, in three years. If you know where he is, call police. Helping a convicted killer break out of a local prison just hours ago, her family talked one-on-one -on -one with Eyewitness News about the allegations. This is totally out of my sister's character. Myself and the family thought these charges are fraudulent. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Erica Bryant. Investigators say that Kendra Miller gave Christopher McNeil a ride after he jumped the fence at the Anson County Prison over the weekend. And tonight, both of them are in custody. All new tonight at 10, Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Johnson found out that Miller's family is fighting to get her out of jail. Brittany? Well, Kendra Miller's sister didn't want to show her face on camera, but she told me she doesn't believe her sister would risk her freedom to help a killer escape from Brown Creek Correctional Institution. Kianda Miller Parker was nervous about speaking out, but wanted to stand up to defend her big sister, Kendra. This is totally out of my sister's character. Relatives were blown away when police arrested the 33-year-old corrections officer, accusing her of having a sexual relationship with Christopher McNeil and helping him escape from prison. Her family has talked to her in jail. She's denying it. She's like, this is not right. You know, this, this, this didn't happen. You know, and I don't understand why they're doing this to me. And after a full day of watching her face on TV, they wanted to show a photo of the Kendra they know, a single mother of four. My sister loves her kids. She wouldn't do anything to jeopardize being away from her four children. She goes to every basketball game. Now she's missing her children behind bars on a half a million dollar bond. Authorities say she came to her job as a food services employee at the prison and waited outside the fence with a getaway car for McNeil, who was serving a 14-year sentence for second-degree murder. Do you believe your sister had a relationship with no. this inmate? No, she, she has a boyfriend who she's totally in love with, and he's standing beside her or behind her 100%. And so are they, along with community members they say are chipping in to help raise money to set Miller free. Miller is due back in court one week from today. Her family told me she's being held away from the general population. Live in Anson County, Brittany Johnson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10.